no one cares that. about your keyboard player. And no I one. He's on the outs. Does he know that he's getting fired? Does he know it? He's not getting fired. You're going to fire him. You don't know why? Because he keeps getting high and ruining the, the, the jazz funk trio that you have. It's like every jazz musician ever has gotten high. Not if he keeps getting high and affects the work. You have to have some balance no, between being an artist and not caring about anything in the work. He borrowed us this interface. and He borrowed us this interface? Are, who am I? Is this is that English? He mm. borrowed us? Isn't that how do you say it? He, he borrowed, borrowed us? It could, because it's for me and you. He borrowed us this. Now that's... He, <laughs> what do you say there? He <laughs> borrowed... It. Oh. You know, long COVID has a lot of. Well, what do you, what <laughs> no, you I want say? you to think it out. I want you to finish your thought. He borrowed you and I. I and you, he borrowed them. <laughs> God, I'm <laughs> trying really hard. What do you think of the correct grammar and syntax is? Take your time. Why do I think it's wrong? I think it's he borrowed. A, look it up because I'm pretty sure that I'm right because I'm, I've am i always been in advanced English courses. Who owns this interface? Scott. What did he do with it in relation to us? He lent it. He didn't borrow. <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Oh man, you know you should tell you, you thought about applying did for give disability. Me COVID. You should apply for disability. That's a good one. It's like yeah, she started talking about uh, like borrowing people's stuff that like. I do have an at-home COVID test. I'm pretty certain you gave no, it to it's me long from your COVID. Tour you have to, to go, you have to like you have to go to like a brain surgeon and they'll tell you or something. Hold on. A month from now, Will Smith's gonna come out with an excuse. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry, Uncle Phil. Uh, I, I have I have a uh, long COVID, or no? I got I got aphasia like uh, like Bruce Willis, who just retired from acting. Like I know, that's, that's sad. So sad. You don't know what it is. It could be drugs. Do it kind of like uh, what's what's his name from from that show with the the British lot. Uh, I, uh, 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 what what's what's his name? What are you talking you know, about? All from, you did was make that, a noise. From, I have no, no that's idea the way what he talks. That's the way he talks now. From <laughs> like, <laughs> from Black Sabbath. Like, uh, oh, Ozzy? Uh, Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, okay. uh, snick, 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 snigger bars. That's racist, Ozzy. Snigger bars? <laughs> See, the thing Snickers bars, Ozzy. Bruce Willis. <laughs> Bruce Willis is, I mean, Snickers I just watched bars. that documentary about Val Kilmer. Um well, not re very recently, but have you seen the documentary about Val Kilmer? You know, honestly, because people have said that I look a lot like him, I really can't. You do not look like him. I'm gonna go you look more like Christian Bale than Val Kilmer <sighs> to me. I've had a lot of people tell me I look like I could be Val Kilmer's kid or something. I have similarities in my facial structure to Val. So I'm just it, that's well, the reason. It's the no, it's the nose though. The nose. I, that's the worst part of his face. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's the worst part of his face. No, I'm not saying that that's why you look like him. It's the nose that makes you different. But I think my anyway, nose makes me different. The Bruce Jesus, Willis thing. Adrian, a Adrian Brody <laughs> just like just walking down the street crying like in the pianist. <laughs> I have the ugliest fucking nose. <laughs> No, people said like my jaw and like my um, I don't know, like I I I was flattered by it. Cause multiple now you've just crushed it. I, it's fine. I, it's just people. Maybe have said it. I could see it maybe during a certain era of his acting, but, uh, but that, not now. That's completely not that <laughs> Val. I'm talking about like Val and like homoerotic like Top Gun Val. Oh yeah, um, that's what I. And it's a certain era. Well, that that is the Val. It's like you know who I really like. I like George Clooney back when he was ugly. That's who I look like. You know, back when he was like 25 before he got his gray hair and was on ER. Like, that one looks that Clooney. He looks like a dork. Yeah. It's like saying, you know who I really like? I like Marlon Brando when he was like, you know, really Marlon Brando. Like, super, super fat. Like, that's, in all honesty, that's how most people remember Marlon Brando because he kind of was mm -hmm. already fat in The Godfather and kind of went, went, went going. But if you're going to tell someone that they look like Marlon Brando as a compliment, you yeah. better hope and pray it's like Streetcar Named Desire, Stella, where he looks just like a young he buck. 
<laughs> just like a young, a stud of just yeah. like ed, like you know kind of is he ambiguously gay he's so feminine looking but also so masculine the perfect blend you don't want anyone to give you like a like you know who you look like you look like oh god like kirstie alley that's a tough one because it's like when or mm-hmm. the girl from romancing the stone remember with michael douglas oh she was uh, kathleen turner i think her name is gorgeous mm-hmm. when she was younger kind of looked like my mom in a little bit and, and yet like now uh, no true true she was like the old lady in x she doesn't look that anything <laughs> like she doesn't look anything like she does in um in her youth like you can see rem- remnants of beautiful women mm-hmm. like uh Monica Bellucci will have that. She's getting older, but she's still beautiful. But like like Sophia Loren, that type of thing. Oh, you can see her beauty. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Joan Didion being a wayfish, like you know, the skinny person, and uh, Audrey Hepburn, great examples. Like basically, that's her. You know, gr- 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 but not not Kathleen Turner, not certain people. That so when you say to me, you don't look like Val Kilmer, and it's offensive, but you're like, oh no, you don't look fat and like you know like horrific, like a whale. You look like he did when Top well, Gun. No, you, I'm like, well, that. That's what I want to look like. He has a certain, like, you y- really, he's got Every this Every time certain you fly, look. you fly unsafe. <laughs> Sorry. I, I haven't seen Top Gun. Uh, that would be something you and your it. college buddies would have, like, sat around we and just, like, we, well, we did watch <laughs> and we knew did. it. We, we blindfolded <laughs> each other, gave each other hand jobs. That's what, that's what happened. That, that was our awakening, Sorry. yeah. Sorry. That's a total yeah. Ben Ben movie there, not, not me. But anyway, we completely got off Christian subject Bale's and onto you and who you wall. look like. I, I have more jaw than he does. He has a very narrow face. You look extraordinarily like him in some p- certain pictures. American Psycho him. Still a very you long face. I mean, I have a long face, but he has no jaw. He has no jaw angle. Like he doesn't have that. See, Val Kim- Val Kilmer to me looks more like. Italian-y than than you do. Like maybe it's the nose, maybe, but it's like the cheeks and there's something like. But it doesn't uh, look my like nose you. is also bigger than Pat uh, than um, Christian Bale's. His nose is particularly petite. Like I think my nose is fine and whatever, but like his nose yeah. is like really skinny. Well, it I almost looks like it was done too much. Like it's like it's very narrow, yeah. but um pinched. Um, but uh, well, not back in American Psycho times. I it? know it looks very like it's just very narrow, and he he, he looks. I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't know if everyone wants to hear about how much I'm upset that I look like Christian Bale more than Val Kilmer. That's kind of a tough <laughs> like. So, you know, I'm just like this. I'm this not trying to stroke bitch. Your ego this right this here. bitch is calling me Christian. You know, it's not fair. It's like it's. I'll take either yeah, one. I'm very the, grateful. The whole point was Bruce Willis having his face. It reminded me of this Val Kilmer. Very sad. No, the whole point is I'm handsome. Turn. That's that's the point. Um, no, no, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's very sad. Um. You know, I think Die Hard with a Vengeance is one of the most underrated movies of all time with Samuel L. Jackson. That movie was fun. And uh, mm-hmm. what's his name? Um, oh, from Margin Calls in it. Jeremy Irons. He plays the bad guy. I love the Eastern European bad guys, particularly in this day and age of Ukraine and Russia. And just like, let's hate people that like speak like, duh, Ms. Nile. You know, this very, very anti-Russian, airtime Eastern. Unless they're, yeah. we're, it's funny, we're pro-Nazis right now. We're, we're, you know, we're pro-Nazism because of all the Nazis that Putin has, has attacked in, in, in Ukraine. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, um, we're also anti-Nazi in this country. Very strongly opposed. It's very, very strange double entendre of, of Nazi and pro-Nazi. But, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I think, like, it makes me wonder. It's scary. Like, I've done drugs, like, I, you know, I haven't done them for years. I didn't try. I didn't haven't drank alcohol, but there have been times where I did try drugs that were pretty intense, and not not over years and years, but like at different times. I'm like, what what does it take for you to like? God, it's scary the idea <gasps> that you could like do like do MDMA once and then like yeah. end up with aphasia at fifty or something like that. That's I would have thought. That like in my mind, I wonder how much alcohol has a play in things versus drugs, and also environmental factors, medications. Like I don't think drugs are always the thing. You know, it may not be, but I I don't imagine that. Like, where's the re- reversion to the mean? Like I don't see uh, Ozzy Osbourne like improving. I don't think he's drinking like he used to, and he's not shooting heroin. Yeah, but Bruce Willis, I don't think was like a big 
true. I, I could see him being like yeah, in, so more into so alcohol. Was it a stroke or was it alcohol? Now right. I've told people like I've warned people like alcohol like you know your skin like y- y- yeah. cr- your liver and your endocrine system like they're definitely related and just in terms of skin quality. I've seen people yeah. that smoke and they I've always thought smoking does it. I think young people particularly around the mouth the nasal labial folds you can get wrinkles but after a certain age there's a limitation to what smoking does to the skin. It's more genetically uh, variant and the liver toxicity isn't there. So it seems alcoholism with balding, definitely a play. It's very um, estrogenic, definitely affects mm-hmm. the liver and the skin in that regard in terms of the aging process. Yeah. Um, or it calls, it's called ROS, reactive oxygen species, and um, the, the yellowing of this tissue. Um, like yeah. jaundice. No, that's different. This is like this okay. like an aging of, of organ tissue. But like I've I've seen friends of mine that have now like inflamed, bald, yeah. that were handsome, gorgeous guys. Gorgeous. Hey. They were very attractive young <laughs> men. Can we bring up how I went to the grocery store to pick up something with Bem Bem before this. Yeah, because you like the handsome guys at the uh the deli counter, right? Yeah, I took him to my favorite, um, the, it's this place, there's this place in Texas called the H-E-B, and they're everywhere, and I took him to the Jewy B, what me and my friends call the What is the a Jewish Bee. grocery store in L.A. called, a grocery store? I don't know. It's a grocery store. Is it? <laughs> but it's like, like Chinese so this food is like the one China. H-E-B that has like a kosher deli, and I always go in there and I like try and cruise the guy's walking around the corner that's they're usually thing. like old women don't cruise that's like jim courier during the <laughs> 1995 totally us do. open and like but ben ben got Porter. cruised at checkout because he was wearing these velvet fucking. dress slippers <laughs> velvet dress slippers like the ones that you guys i posted on my oh, social media with the with the um the devil these had a skull on them so I was wearing like, you know, like khaki shorts and like a shirt and uh, these dress slippers and this. I'm tall and everything. And I, 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 I evidently have some sort of balance in terms of my binary scale between Christian Bale and Val Kilmer. So I'm not sweating it. But uh, this gay man basically says, I love your shoes. I, everywhere we, we go, like there's somebody hilarious points out if I'm because you wear them so often. And I don't think you understand that you click when you wear them like a child trying on plastic I understand princess shoes and I can't it's it's the uh it was Ravaz effect getting in all like an all-encompassing way but it made me laugh really hard because this guy was like holding marigolds or some yellow flower and he was like I love your shoes Anyway, the like. gays love me. What can I say? That's, I'm, I'm very honored and flattered. You know, one day they won't. One day they'll just be focused on young, young twinkish boys or you know tall young boys, and I'll just be an old hag. But until that time, I'm soaking up the attention. Love it. He wanted to see your one eye Willie pirate shoe. Um, you want to talk about the slap? What slap? Getting getting jiggy with it. Oh. God, I'm, I'm tired of hearing about it this week, but I'll talk about it. Uh, I, I, uh, so, uh, if Republicans and conservatives online have said that, like, it's like, you know, y- there's so much, some honor in defending your, your wife, but at the same time, it's hard to defend your wife when you're a cuckold and she sleeps with other men, which I think is interesting. Apparently, Will Smith is a Scientologist, and, you know, Jada Pinkett has been that. dating stepping out on the marriage for a long time and it's just like accepted like their marriage is like fake mm-hmm. um makes me wonder given all the other scientologists whether will smith is actually gay yeah um and uh mm-hmm. he's really talented and he shouldn't have done what he did and uh it, it it's debatable whether it was staged or not i'm guessing mm-hmm. it wasn't uh but I will say the Oscars ratings, just for the sake of ratings, would have been a good thing to pull off. And if you if you actually look at Will Smith's Instagram, the day of the Oscars when he's getting fitted for his tuxedo, his elbow is cu- – he's doing this weird, like, high to the camera, to the mirror that's filming him for this Instagram post. And his elbow is tucked in, and his hand – never goes above like it's right below his shoulder and it goes out like a jazz hand type thing open palm and it's exactly the same starting motion before the slap it's exact so if you frame the slap Mm -hmm. on stage it's the same setup and it's like he was practicing this the cocking motion for it in front of camera 
and then had no idea that that could be like used after the fact to say, hey, this is plant. It looks weird. Why? Go on his Instagram. Why is his elbow tucked well, in? He's doing this weird like high thing. To maybe it's, it's because weird. Chris Rock is probably so much smaller than him, like Joe Rogan small. Chris Rock is probably pocket size. What if Chris didn't know? What if, what if the whole thing was that, Will, we need ratings. Just when you feel like it, slap someone. <laughs> and it just so happened, oh, that was perfect. Because he laughed at the joke. Remember, he laughed initially. Then he looked at Jada, and she was upset. And then he decided to get angry. It was like well, weird. It's like you're feigning anger. Why are you doing this? It's not real. It's not genuine. Well, because she oh, wait, seems then, like then the type of Then he's crying about Richard, the, sh- the movie. He, fin- he fin- filmed that like five years ago or whatever. Like, it, it, you know, when you do a movie, it's two years before it comes out. And yeah. he's all of a sudden developing these emotions. And it's like... <laughs> it's it's, delayed it's, it's, feelings. It's delayed feelings of like... It's like all these people that worked on this movie. I'm like, give me a. You don't feel that after five years on a movie that that boring. It's, no one watched that movie. I don't know anyone that's seen King Richard. Just thought about all of the shit that was about to come out, and it was overwhelming. And what Jada was going to be like afterwards, and how he couldn't have fun, and it was there was probably a lot going on. But I do feel like she's the type of woman where if he wouldn't have done something, it would have been like hell back home it would have been i don't think they have a real thing. marriage i don't think it's real i don't think there is any hell like hell, woman uh hell hath no fury like a woman scorned that well, would be towards chris rock she doesn't think anything in terms of will smith as well, a husband she had that like reality show right he wasn't on it but it was like her and their kids right wasn't so they would like didn't steam she fuck, their like, vaginas Kravitz and date other people like does, she does everything like, he's not that relationship's weird, man. Like, it's not yeah. real. She's like a militant, like, yeah. I, I, I don't know. She just like what she plays in the new Matrix movie, which I didn't know that that she, was her. That she, was <laughs> it, it's just their, their relationship is very odd, and it's yeah. not. It. I almost feel like Will Smith felt cucked by his wife, and he was taking his anger. A der- like a, a feigning, a, a, a factual anger at his relationship a, with his family dynamic out on Chris Rock. That a normal man should feel these things if someone were to disrespect his wife. And because he's not a man, because he's dating someone that fucks other men and he puts up with it, yeah. he decided to feign a reaction that was manly, but he overdid it. That's I, what I think happened. I don't think he's. He's not. Gay. No, just, I. I, I really <laughs> I don't. I don't get that feeling. I'm. You, I Travolta. Feel like I really, Cruz. I th- could see Smith, Cruz. Maybe not Travolta. LGBT award. Twenty four hours a Aren't day. Are they all Scientologists too? Maybe that's like a, a requirement. It's like a gay. It's like a gay like summer camp or like a gay like. <laughs> is that the final level? The top tier is just that they're all like. <laughs> if there was a gay like Sucking video game, they would be like the berserkers at the end of the bosses. It's like Travolta would be the level one. Crews have to be like the final bad guy to beat. Like doing all those Mission Impossible movies, but it's funny because like how many Mission Impossibles have there been? Like ten. So yeah. it, was, it should be called just missions because they're they're not impossible anymore. The next Mission Impossible <laughs> will, will be his plastic surgery as he ages. That's a Mission Impossible. Or Tom Cruise is one of those faces where it's clear his plastic surgery is is part of his original sexiness and that as he ages it's starting to become more apparent that his original base was not as strong as people thought like brad yeah. pitt very powerful face and like no plastic surgery when he's younger except for his nose which was just because it was too boyish and pretty so they made it bigger and then his ears being pinned back that was all the plastic surgery he really had also yeah, for his acne beautiful. scars his daughter the shiloh looks well now it's, it's like the androgynous shiloh. one well, she's like, transitioning. She's John now, I think. How do you? We gotta talk about that. We're gonna talk about that. <laughs> yeah, like, how did I, you not know that? No, <laughs> I know, I know. It's like, but how do you know? In this society of like, like that, that, that the reason, so the reason why your daughter's trans is because everyone talks about trans. Well, no, this is what I think with Brad Pitt that he was such a do good-looking man. Do you think if Angelina Jolie and, she and Brad Pitt so much were like living in Florida and like like West Palm Beach or like Dayton? daytona beach that their daughter same dynamic same children except for the adopted mm-hmm. ones because they couldn't afford them but like the same like shiloh whatever the pretty like androgynous like whatever like that 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 child would be trans no it it pro if you were to bet well, also i do think that like maybe angelina and brad had a relationship where angelina was maybe the more masculine one and brad was such a pretty 
Do you want to jump to that? Let's just talk about that. that. Uh, well, I'm just saying. No, like, we should talk I about could, it. We should talk. Well, I could let's, definitely. Let's, okay, can I talk about it or? No, talk. I love saying the same thing. We're, <laughs> we're going to go into the Florida thing now because I'm saying, I'm basically saying, don't switch your topic. Keep talking about it, and then, r- well, um, yeah, <laughs> go go ahead. Okay, so my feeling is is that, you know, Brad was such a pretty and probably a little bit more feminine like Angelina Jolie has that dominatrix sort of like very I don't know she very well-rounded I'm not saying she's completely like cold but I I could see where his daughter would maybe pick up on a more tender nurturing thing from him than her I have it and she looks so much like him she really does I love cackers the movie Hackers. I love that movie. And I don't so think I've seen that. Oh. <laughs> I, oh, that reminds me that a weird thing. I, voice is. So I have this thing at night where cars are coming by and um, I know the lights are on and I like to make really extreme faces like <laughs> and hope that the light of their headlights hits my face in just the right way <laughs> to where they're like, is that is that just my light? Is it nighttime? And I just saw that or is that his face? So I like to the, like I, that movie Mothman Prophecy, but it's just you and well, it, it, so I guess well, I don't I know your reference. Really. I know the movie, but like he like 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 I'll just I'll just go like oh 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 oh, oh. and then like the cars driving by, and like, I hope they're like, is that him? Is that re-? it's just nighttime, and I just I want <laughs> I want a, I want a sliver of this doubt that like my face is so ridiculous, just a sliver, and it makes their night. Like there's no way that's what his face looks like. I'm like. <laughs> and then they're just like what is going on and then they might even it might make their night they're off to a horror movie they see my face and it helps set the mood like an ambiance outside of the horror movie they're about to go see that so that's one of the things i like so anyway one of the uh, going to the daydream the daydream thing um i have this daydream where i'm at like one of those like faggoty like i'm just kidding no i'm like the progressive markets very very like you know like you have like the produce with like rainforest steam coming out down from it, like really nice, small in LA. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and she's in there with all her like adopted kids wearing masks, and uh, I don't think I'm wearing a mask because for the sake of this, Angelina Jolie finds me attractive when one of her kids pulls like some oblong object, let's call it like a giant baguette from like a tray, and hits me in the nuts. And then I like grab, she sees like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like Shiloh, bad Shiloh. She's like slaps the child because she's abusive. And Probably uh, claws. Yeah, claws him. She wouldn't slap, she would claw. And uh, or like maybe picks him up like a cat from the neck and like hurls him back behind her or something. And so uh, I'm like, hi. She's like, hi, I'm, are you okay? I'm like, yeah. It's like, uh, it's, um, I say, what, what, is, what, what did I say in the, the dream? I'm like, uh, it's not every day where I get to meet uh acid burn or some acid burns her name her handle and hackers okay and she's so sexy and hackers those lips oh my god I like mean, isn't that crazy uh, that she comes from john voight no his lips and no homo nice lips for a man very very i know a lot of him and her <laughs> a lot of him you can see it Ugh. You don't see I it. I don't want to see it. I think that's something that I don't want to think about. Shiloh's lips. Shiloh, that Shiloh with the big lips. That's not. That comes directly from Voight. That's a Voight lip. Is that a Voight lip? It's a Voight lip. Okay. Yeah. So nature versus nurture. The reason why I, I wanted to bring this up during the conversation about that. That I know we're jumping around like crazy today. It's fine. Um, is that Florida bill? The the left is calling it "Don't Say Gay." It's like not really the name of the bill. It's like. Mm-hmm. A bill that wants to protect kindergarten kindergartners that are gay from the um, being being taught that they probably should be trans until at least third grade. So it protects mm. gay kindergartners. Yeah. I'm just I'm just kidding. It doesn't protect gay kindergartners. It protects kids from basically mm. gender shit, like you're talking about gender and sex that maybe they shouldn't talk about sexual acts with kids at that age anyway, straight or gay or otherwise, right. and it just po- postpones that conversation um later on so w- the reason why i wanted to talk about this is because the idea of if brad pitt and Angelina julie were normal people that married and had a baby named shiloh that looks like shiloh and they were in florida or oklahoma or wherever the fuck 
the odds of that child being trans, I feel, are significantly lower. Mm -hmm. While activists present social transition as a sort of safe experimental zone, this is from a Quillette article. While active, uh, active, well, ha activists present uh, present social tran transition as a sort of safe experimental Long zone. Long COVID, oh my god! No, I, I, no, it's just you know, sorry. While activists present social transition as a sort of safe experiment zone in which children and adolescents can explore their gender nonconformity, emerging research, including a study by Dutch experts who pioneered pediatric transition practices, suggests that social transition may itself contribute to the persistence of gender dysphoria. That would mean that, in some cases at least, a school encouraging social transition would actually be exacerbating or prolonging the symptoms of gender dysphoria. So, mm -hmm. essentially, the precept of encouraging transitioning or transitioning a child without hormones or anything else, just socially, mm -hmm. causes a perhaps permanent mental state and even encourages the process going forward of hormone blocker it's just by the very yeah. fact of adopt adoption and uh, that's what worries me that's why i think the tr the bill isn't like first of all it has nothing to do with homophobia in fact it's homophobic to assume a child that wants to wear dresses or something isn't just gay like or yeah. straight or or like you know it, it's ridiculous that they have to be encouraged Alter, yeah. Yeah, like that there has to be sexual sexual teaching to a child mm -hmm. that age that's kind of in this androgynous place yeah. like let it play out naturally there's no need to oh you're actually a boy or, or a girl or that you have to have a random crazy teacher yeah, say there's, there's no, no need for any any intervention or yeah, anything yeah it's not protecting them you have plenty of time to block their puberty you know from so they can they're passable if that's what you want to do all of that you've played at this age you have plenty of time it's crazy that people are so adamant about this bill. Like, I, I just, would you want your daughter learning about sex acts in kindergarten? No. No. Your, your straight daughter? Forget gay. Forget queer or trans. Just sex in general at that age. You just don't talk about it. It's really inappropriate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People talk about those Doritos commercials where the boy is like in, little little kids in a tuxedo with like glasses on and all these hot girls are around him. Mm -hmm. If you were to flip, flip that and it was just a young girl in the car with all these older men yeah. that are like, you know, sexualizing this well, child, it would be completely inappropriate. I think it's just weird yeah. how our society picks certain things and extremes. Right. It's ridiculous. Well, and I think, too, that it's been an ongoing thing where like uh, in a, in an artistic way in the United, you know, in the United States, if we were if we were to have a more like artistic i guess view this has nothing to do with kids i i completely agree with you but i do think that you know in european and other countries like they have more of a what like exposed to a lot of artistic slash mildly sexual you know history but it's like that's a healthy thing to have around versus like these like imposed government it, it's not like tactful or like it, and it's it, this sounds really weird because i don't agree with the kids thing i'm just saying i guess it's my chance to jump on that america's a little bit behind with that the idea that <laughs> social media hasn't encouraged social conformities amongst young adolescents in general mm -hmm. sans lgbt or sex stuff is crazy so the idea that social engineering and the connection of digital media and the way our ability to communicate has just blossomed since 2014 has not affected kids in terms of depression um, happiness, right. dopamine receptors, um, immediate gratification response, and social conformities in terms of groupings and associations with different peer groups is crazy. To say that yeah. none of that is affecting it. So why is it not crazy? Why, or why is it crazy to say talking to kids and educating them about how there's no such thing as boy or girl and that tr you could be trans if you want to wear dress? Like, how is that not a possibility of encouraging the path and bifurcating essentially 
the choices for a young person that may or be in like uh, experiencing gender dysphoria yeah. to where you either are or you aren't but there is no I such mean, thing think as boy or girl which is just like a thing where like what came for it like did s- if somebody wouldn't intervene would your compa- if, if the you noticed that your child was just doing this but i would be like I would maybe like question a few other there things are n- and I would there's never n- There's no with. other side to the idea that you might experience gender dysphoria and you might grow out of it. Those people mm-hmm. aren't protected. The children that experience it that aren't trans are, are subject to abuse. Like right. a, a girl having her tits cut off because she's confused at six years old. Her breast tissue removed, her mammary yeah. glow. That's no, I insane. I think that's extreme, and it probably right. but doesn't it ha- happen. It's as happened, much. and it's like it's like because why? Like like there's no need to do that yet. And yeah. like I wanted to be every like the point is protecting kids. I think is perfectly legitimate when it comes to sexuality, and I don't think kids should be taught by teachers about sexuality at that age and the idea that the bill also includes a provision where uh, um, schools may not discourage or prohibit parental notification of and involvement in critical decisions affecting a student's mental emotional physical or well-being there are a lot of progressive teachers that actually hide these their their teaching of trans and lgbtq stuff to well, look at fucking florida too it's disney world well, and like all these pe- it's a pedophilia capital of m- the f- maybe like, maybe seriously there I, re- I read this gross article about it once um very unsettling statistics like that it's just a place for pedophiles flock like of course that bill would be try and be passed in florida he's probably getting paid off to like start some sort of subconscious movement <laughs> no desantis wants to end this he's he's trying to protect kids that's the bill the bill the bill is being criticized by the left call is called the don't say gay bill which doesn't have anything to do with anything it's nothing to do with the bill the bill is not homophobic whatsoever it's nothing to do with that it's protecting children from sex talk at a certain age that's yeah. it yeah. all sex talk well, yeah. including heterosexual talk that's good. That's now he needs to do something about fucking you, Disney World. <laughs> well, I, 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 he's actually, DeSantis is talking about removing the special provisions, the licenses that Disney World has for certain like activities um, because of mm-hmm. some of their positions. I Look, I am absolutely pro adults' rights to do whatever the fuck they want. And I am sympathetic to the what? provision. What like, does that even mean? If you're an adult, you want to fuck you want to do this, you want to wear a dress, you want to do whatever, do whatever you want. You want to transition. Oh. I'm also okay. sympathetic towards the idea that if you wait till too long and you're trans, that the manifestation of your outward appearance will be affected because you went through puberty. Yeah. I understand that. I'm not, I'm not ignorant to that end. The problem is the catch 22 of that is, are you capable as a young person that cannot say, cannot consent to sex with an adult, but you can consent to changing your gender. That you are in one way are not old enough to make a certain decision, but in another yeah. way you are. Completely change who you are. That seems crazy to me. And I think you have to protect children for as long as possible from making those egregious errors. And the unfortunate reality is for women transitioning, they transition much earlier than men. For men transitioning to women, it varies from 10 to 14. Some of them when puberty hits, like in terms of like mm-hmm. the ability to block it, like there's an o- the time period's wider and, and it's, it's complicated. Mm-hmm. I, I I am I am befuddled at the idea that the people that have gender dysphoria are either trans or they were misdiagnosed with gender dysphoria. They don't actually experience it and are gay or straight yeah, that's well, the problem might, you're not protecting I mean, those patients the studies of this might not because we're just to find studies the, by the way too like what is, I, I, I well like, i mean these are like further like down the line things that we may not learn about i have gay friends that like think that like years. lesbians don't exist i have gay friends that think trans are just like men like they say transphobic things like men are like they're just men trying to fuck straight guys i've seen all sorts of things like that from yeah. the gay community it's not well, a uniform group they I, but they do respect the power that the moniker lgbtq gives them they mm-hmm. they do understand that there's a politicalization of power that 
wasn't with them during you know before Stonewall, before right. um, uh, the Shepherd. Even though you know Shepherd also was a manipulation of facts. The Shepherd incident with being dragged behind a truck was a drug deal. It had nothing to do with homosexuality. It was a drug deal. Like the, people mm-hmm. use these incidents. Oh, that was a homophobic, horrible. Uh, no, Andrew was it Andrew Shepherd's his name. Yeah. He was like it was like a drug deal that went wrong. Gay <laughs> had nothing to do with it. Yeah. So I like how uh, you mentioned there's a huge parade going on today in, in there's Texas a gay parade where today? we are. <laughs> is it? Yes. What's it called? So we're just what is it? It's we should just go. some LGBTQ. Yeah. LGBTQ. Um, I think that. I mean, I, I agree with what you're saying all around. Nature I, versus nurture is the point. Nature versus nurture. Yeah, I think that nature things need to be kept a little more like pure. But it's hard to like keep up with that purity of like life that you want to have purity and like safety in a way. Like when the world really isn't designed that way anymore. Like technology, like there's there's only so far we can take it now before like the world like. People Everybody talk about demographics wins. being appropriated, like more black people doing this to it balances the, the proportionality in terms of the general population, right? More women doing this. So it balances the, you know, 50, 50 population of men and women, that type yeah. of thing. But then there's like 20 kids in a school of like 500 that want to be trans or transitioning all of a sudden. Yeah. And it's like, but the population demographics, it's that's, sad. that's like a, that's like a hundred times higher than the trans population. So why is in this sample of a school district or 20 kids all of a sudden wanting to transition? And then the argument is because now they feel safe. So there's actually a lot more trans people. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, this is is really, it's unfalsifiable. How do you, how do you fight this logic? Yeah. It's it's like, you can't win. It's like, I like Christopher Hitchens couldn't fight this shit. It's very hard. I think I will. Yeah. I think. I, I'm not sure if I told you this, but I was with my friend the other day who I'm a, about to start a music film podcast with. He's a fellow musician, friend of mine, old bandmate, maybe possibly a new one. But we were laughing, talking about moving together to L.A. And I was like, you know what would be... To law. To law. To law, la la land. But you know what would be... I was like, you know what would be crazy, but I think would be... A th- work for me so much more is if I let my little like Czechoslovakian like I'm very hairy for a girl I've got all the hairy genetics so if I let like (laughs) my my five o'clock shadow grow and I just like let it go (laughs) but like if I were to just put on some act as like I was a transitioning guy and attempt to do some of the things that I currently do in my life there i wonder if i would be more successful yes because i know and that to me is so not not on merit not the question is where you would never know you're like oh have you ever seen have you seen the bearded lady that sings jazz (laughs) you would never know billy holiday (laughs) you want to go see do you want to go to tijuana and see a pony show you'd never know like what is it is it the extreme of it or is it the talent or is it the i'm so grateful that i paid ten dollars for cover to see the bearded lady sing um, Billy Holiday covers because that yeah. it's so good for and that's everyone. That's a dramatization. I don't really have. I was just using that and laughing with him because it was a funny thought. No, I you should. I I would do it. I would. I would. I would try to like. The problem is, I'm so. I think I have some like feminine characteristics, but I don't know that I could like, like Leah Thomas. The balls you have to have to no pun intended to be a 440th ranked swimmer and collegiate swimming and then a year before and then say you transitioned and then join the women's team Mm -hmm. and then fuck up everyone like you're all of a sudden number one and say yeah "Yeah, like there's one thing for the sake of like the notoriety to have for a book deal for a few million dollars or something the other thing Mm -hmm. is when you're not swimming when the sport's not going on you've completely changed your life it is a massive investment in a either facade or legitimate thing to say i am i'm transitioning all of a sudden in college in college and uh and i i really was a woman i always felt like a woman now i feel comfortable and then play the sport you're playing before which you are passionate about which is fine crush women and 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 say like this person 
this person is lying for the sake of money or this person is delusional because you forget this person's also probably socially has changed everything probably you can't really get away with the book deal and risk the millions being taken from you in terms of simon schuster walking away if someone finds out that like you just lo- joke about how like you're conning everyone with friends. You have to go full bore twenty four seven with it. Yeah, like that is a t- like I respect Fuck. if it's if it's if it's a grift for some people like Portia de Rosie or a like, career lesbianism. Like <laughs> I respect it because it's hard work. It's hard. Yeah. Like people say sex workers. Like oh that's like it's illegitimate. It's hard work. Like being a gold digger is hard work. It's not like, you know, being investment, ba- like fucking someone you don't like for the rest of your life and like raising their kids and shit. It's not that as easy as you think it is. It's not as glamorous. Well, no. you know, I mean, I just think, well, we had sort of talked about this before. I, I mean, uh, I don't know. You want to talk about this? Um, like the dot, the pe- the kids now like are are like wearing are refusing to take off their masks. Oh well, like that goes along with it. Like it's yeah. they're like the kids will say, "I don't want to take it off." Let me get off like kids and trans for like. <laughs> no, this, this, this isn't a, this isn't a sexual. It's it's a I psychological know, I'm just thing. I'm tired of talking about children. Let's talk about the bad vegan. No, it, th- we have to talk about this. We have to talk about this. then we'll talk about bad vegan because we have to get it. It it, it matches. Sarah is very sensitive when it comes to children tr- child abuse. But in this w- in this case, I think it's important for like continuity. We're talking mm-hmm. about abuse of children in one respect. We should talk about abuse of children in another respect if it's on the topic list. Otherwise we're just well, be it's just oversaturated to me sometimes. But let's get on so these kids are doing what with masks? They're refusing to take them off. They're saying they don't yeah. want to, even though they, they don't have to anymore. Like, if there's some school districts, they don't well, have no to. No shit. Their parents were probably really anxious. Like, hey, you got to put, like, can you imagine, <laughs> like, when this first went down? And if the kids were old enough, they're like, man, I, they can sense anxiety. You know, a lot of kids have, like, their they're fr- like they're, They think they're ugly. Some of the girls think they're ugly. They think that they're ugly and that the mask hides their face. I see a lot of people that look like Is they're really into the video games and anime or hentai porn and they wear their masks and they just look like the characters. So they keep wearing them like it's a social thing. Um, I mean, I guess it, it would be a fashion choice now. But like children to not me. refusing to take off their masks because they're insecure now. It, it just, isn't that this like full bore what's happening with social media in general and just like the entire mm. world of like... I'm afraid and I want to be disconnected from any real socializing. And well, so the mask itself is almost like a digital form of, it's like texting. It's like, I don't have to talk. I don't have to converse with you. I can have this like buffer and that's texting. Mm-hmm. And that's what the mask is. Yeah. Pretty soon in like 20 years, no one will have any physical contact with anyone. And there'll be like a, like a sexual like catheter that when you want to fuck like some girl and like would bring it to like a no you're just gonna stick it you're gonna stick a catheter up your dick and then all of a sudden like you put on a visor and all of a sudden you're having sex with like whatever Mm -hmm. like like a a a, 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 top you know what a perfect 10 model or something like that in australia and you're in your like your parents that's like that scene in that movie that sci-fi movie is it children of men where he goes through and there's like that underground club and it's like a holographic Jesus, fuck. Spill the coffee. <laughs> um, isn't isn't that Children of Men? I'm pretty sure. I uh, the one know. that I remember about virtual reality fucking was Strange Days, where they have these virtual chips which well, make you feel whole. like the like. So I'm saying yeah. like, you get to see my experience. So like, there's a one with this girl that's like 18 in the shower, and like this, you see this scene with this guy who's like like obese put on the visor and gets to experience the shower as if it's her he's her and he's just like oh, oh. oh. like he's like doing one of my faces no, for the cars that, <laughs> he's just is like that oh. where he's trying to rescue his wife because she works as a sex worker and like ralph fines in his young days ralph fines maybe not that's not the one ralph do you know fines, which one i'm handsome. talking about where like it's like virtual reality and people get to be these characters in games but like if you have a prison Bruce sentence, Willis? you can be like put into prison. There's a Bruce, a Bruce Willis movie where he's like it's he's not him, I swear. Uh, Unless I'm just 
Pretty Ready Player One. I didn't see it, but it's no, one. it's not that. It's an older one than that. I'll I think that it, I think it's that really lifestyle good. actually is going to be for like poor people. I think I think like for the most part, all the digital stuff, like Owen. all the, the rich rich people will will basically do all the stuff that you can do in virtual reality, but in real life. And like, well, that's be, the whole. Living, it's very socioeconomic and entire. Yeah, like the whole thing is that you will be online and be working by playing games that actually like there's a, there's like an algorithm underneath them kind of like facebook that like sells your information you'll be creating revenue and making a currency then the government will subsidize all your food because you can't because inflation has hit so badly because yeah. the the gdp per capita has gone so low that no one can afford anything and that their work is essentially useless so you're in a video game all day long. You're playing games you think are games, but they're really they're not. They, they, they generate some value, and the government subsidizes your living and everything else. Whereas the rich people at the That's, same time— I need to show you those movies. Well, this the rich people are fucking, are fucking children. It's a great they're They're doing drugs in movie. real life. They're traveling in real life. They're outside virtual reality. So virtual reality becomes a trap for poor people. Is what I, the world. Like That's um, what I think is going to happen. Well, that movie was like that, but a little bit better. Than what how you just said it. <laughs> so and like you know those videos where they talk about like having sex for real like remember Demolition Man with Wesley Snipes and uh, Sylvester Stallone. Hey, you're not that much older than me to be like I, I feel like. Do you you're remember lying Demolition Man? Do you remember age? Independence Day? Do you remember a movie that came out last year? It's a perfectly normal phrasing for if you remember. You brought up Top Gun in these '80s movies, and it makes me feel like you're older than I think. Do you remember you're, the movie Demolition Man? I say that because it came out in the '90s, and it's not something that like is common. Did it come out in the '90s? Yeah, Demolition Man. It didn't come out in the 2000s. Well, no, I don't. <laughs> don't come Demolition off Man is that. a movie set in the future with Sandra Bullock maybe. and Sylvester Stallone and Wesley Snipes. Okay, okay. maybe and it's because Snipes was brought up. You don't up have sex 80s. physically. You don't touch. You put on these stupid head things and you kind of like get close to the person but don't really touch. In the future, I think people that fuck for real is going to be like a delicacy, like like I don't know, like having sushi off a naked woman's body or something at a club or whatever. It's it's going to be like it's going to be like. Uh, it just only for certain people get to do it, like the the rich and the powerful, and everyone else is basically, you know, in virtual reality, like looking at porn essentially, or like being being stimulated somehow. Um, that's what I think is happening, and I think that yeah. people are becoming more and more afraid of actually engaging in the real world, and they've fallen farther and farther into the digital world. Like I see grown men that like have a smoke show girlfriend, and they're playing video games, and I'm like. What is, are you, you're in, I, I don't even understand. You're, you're playing, you rather play like Madden or some like first player shooter or some like strategy, like mythical game, like Dungeons and Dragons in 3D than fuck that girl you're with. It's five foot, 920 pounds yeah. with an eating disorder who daddy issues, who used to cut herself in high school. You're going to tell me you're not going to slam that. Oh, you're going to rather play mythical creature, bullshit, Dungeons and Dragons. Crap. I think Get everybody the fuck here. creates their own escape from this plane. Uh, and, uh, oh shit! I you mean, just got all like. I think like you know <laughs> your energy <laughs> and your cri your crystal stem. No, I think everybody needs some sort of an outlet for this world. I do agree that yeah, it's called books. Game. It's called like it's called like going That's to a creek choose, and going on a, on a, a nature I mean, hike. It's not like to I'm gonna plug do. into the matrix. Like there is a dumbing down of everything because people are so. I guess it's like also an economy of scale. There's just they don't they don't have enough. I used to not understand why people do so many drugs. Then I realized because they don't have any money to like travel or do anything. Like they 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 need to watch Netflix to get their break because they can't go fly to like Miami for the weekend and like I don't know experience having sex with a beautiful hooker. They can't afford it, so that's what they do. That's their fun. And um, you know that sounds like a I low. Would say that that's not entirely true like even me i've always i've never really had a lot and i'm still traveled and i'm still like a lot of people i think are, are numbing themselves through technology because of a, yeah, a money agree. issue and i think it's going to get worse and i i think that that's scary yeah um, I, I don't think it needs to come to an insulting place of a what do you mean whole group of people it's not insulting what do you mean i think it's a little bit insulting what's insulting to assume that poor people do that because they don't have an escape i think you're taking that to an extreme 
place. No, I think that that's that's I was the whole premise for the subject is that people like, are there are still things you can do broke to it like you can go yeah, camping you, you can not, but you can pe- go on a road trip you with can people. but people are being socially engineered to get that escape through their phones and through easier yeah. methods that are like lazier and immediate yeah. gratification right. so if you have heroin in front of you and if you take the heroin you instantly feel good whereas to hike for the weekend you have to pack up your car you have to hope it doesn't rain there's all these but like the variables the process of that can feel good to people even who are not like it's no like no a it does feel good but people unifying. are choosing netflix and like playing video games over it i i see it i think maybe younger people i can That's still i still have friends of mine who like really That's like not what i'm saying your people your age and my age are lucky yeah. But people that are younger are choosing not to do the things that we do. Yeah, it's definitely more isolated. That's what I'm saying. It's a it's a coddling. It's it, it, it's it's a, it's a it's it's for younger people. But younger yeah. people are playing more video games, or choosing to play video games than have sex, or choosing all these things that are involving like fidgeting, like these mm-hmm. Aspergian like autism like activities over interacting with people more than ever before. Yeah, it's like the movie Wally. I, I always think about Wally every time. I remember Wally. That was the really the, 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 the bot was like depressing. I, I any he felt like a dog that didn't have any friends. I don't know. It's sad. Well, until Eve came along. I don't know it that well, but that's a nice reference. <laughs> nice pull. Well, it just reminds me of the future because, um, yeah, everybody's just like isolated and like orders Zelensky. things, and they're just like in these like big cocoon floaty pod. Things. Like Zelensky, and he's in a studio with a green screen, pretending he's still in Ukraine. <laughs> I have survived twelve assassination attempts. I am a living martyr. When do I get to go on Dancing with the Stars? You know what? I didn't. I saw this article and I was gonna send it to you, and it because it made me laugh out loud. Where the headline was like he was getting like a vaccine or a booster shot and it said something like yeah like a hot president and i was like he's not that hot Zelensky? like his face <laughs> looks like grew on despicable me it's not like a he's yeah he's one not or like zero on the binary what yes or no fuck or fuck or no like you have to mm. pick one so it's the scale's wider so think about it a yeah yeah, I mean, yeah. Right? Compared to other presidents? I mean, like, yeah, right? Yeah, but, like, to, like, just come out and be, like, the hottest president. And here he is, like, he's, like, hunched he over. He's on the Oscars. He's hunched over in the photo, like, getting, like, a booster or something. And he looks just, like, stressed. And I was, like, why is this such a All right, how about this? Have you seen Putin's thing? suit? Have you seen how Putin dresses? Yeah. Is Zelensky wears T-shirts all the time? He, like, looks like he's a commando, like, 24 hours a day? Yeah. Put Zelensky in suits. Dress him like Macron or Putin. Then he instantly yeah. is a one in the binary. I don't think he's got the most attractive face. What I about think when he, he was leaner? Like when he was leaner. I think he looks heavier. Meat. When he was leaner, I thought he was more handsome. But like, he is he is a movie star. Like he talks about he brags about like how he's he's like evading. How many? How do we know any of this is real? Like how do you say, who would say they've been they've survived twelve assassination attempts unless it was like would you even say that like is how is that not propagation wouldn't you say that if it didn't happen like it's like I am we are surviving we are Ukraine we are one like are you one half your region well, legitimately like- wants to join Russia and the Donbass they actually that's not that's not propaganda they actually are Russian separatists like mm-hmm. then you have a bunch of like ex like you know you know ussr families that are like you know know, ukraine like essentially means nothing in terms of cultural appropriation of like like anything like ukraine history ukrainian it's like they're just former ussr people and like they like being uh, i don't know quote unquote free but they're kind of in this like neutral state of we're not western we're not part of russia but we like this fake semblance of like freedom and power, but really you're a poor nation with mm-hmm. no way of defending itself. Putin is not trying to destroy you. If he really wanted to, he would have. Right. He, this is a slow burn. He would have destroyed Mariupol in hours if he was so inclined. This is a slow burn. But Zelensky, 
mm-hmm. begging people like which sounds kind of pathetic every single day like please give us more guns and like gun drones and we need your well, help he, it's like dude no I one's coming with you don't begging. have any you I don't want he anything has to. It's like well, he doesn't ha- no he, he doesn't have to he should what he should do is stand down he can't do shit you can't stop putin and we're not we're, uh, the US, united states and your opinion aren't going to go and save him so stop trying to fight give mm-hmm. it up you lost you're gonna lose it's crazy. You're killing people in your country by doing this. Stop it. Trying to recreate like a David and Goliath. Sort yeah, it's of like for what for like a show, so he can be on a television show. So he has yeah. a job after he gets kicked out of office by Putin, and the, and the puppet president comes in that's pro-Russian. It's I, a joke. It's completely fake. Well, if, who's I'm the still worst person? Rude it's by the... Putin protecting his oil interests for Russia, or this guy pretending like Ukraine can defend itself against Russia, and that he's doing the honorable thing by putting Ukrainian lives at risk. Well, Are you fucking kidding me? Zelensky I do think disgusting. that there was a time where people also felt like there was no way that they could beat Hitler. Which we already talked about this. But so I think you're sort of shedding a light on like people felt really hopeless in World War Two. So why? So people should just stand down from Putin because he's like. But it wasn't. The, see, there, the time difference. There is no world war. It's Ukraine versus mm-hmm. Russia. Ukraine has no shot. What did he just do with uh Now he's like doing his little puffy chest thing to other guys. Like pay me in rubles. Yeah, so Putin, Putin sees the devaluing of his currency and decided that, well, you know what, you guys are still buying. They're still buying Russian gas. The European Union is. They have no no other way of doing that logistically that wouldn't be expensive. It's not the it's not the spot price in the market. It's actually the tr- moving the actual gas to European countries. The logistics is very expensive. So they're still buying from Russia, despite what people say. And Putin's decided to prop up his currency even though there's there's blocks on swift transactions and currency moves he's forcing now his customers to put money into russian banks and then that money will be converted to rubles to pay for their gas yeah. which is awesome hilarious and really really funny cuz it's like yeah you, ha- you what do you what else are you going to do and I, I, people will do it they have no choice see you like <laughs> you're like honoring you get all like <laughs> And people will do it. You have no choice. I know, but I just feel like you're championing. His I I like Putin tactic. I I, 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 I and so I don't. So let's just that doesn't. I don't care. Do. Like I, it doesn't matter. It's okay to have a difference of opinion. Putin yeah. Putin has a country that depends on oil and gas. Ukraine has the only leverage for that they don't use it, but they have the only leverage point in terms of propinquity, their location in space. Geographically, Russia is fucked unless they send their shit to China or a country that's big enough to actually buy their shit at scale. So the only country geographically that could leverage Putin is if the European Union were to take over Ukraine, mm-hmm. which would take over the 2 trillion tons of gas in the Black Sea, the shale deposits in the Donbass region, and the shale deposits of oil in the, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, area further west. That's the only thing that threatens Russia's Petro state. Mm-hmm. So I don't blame Russia. We knew this was going to happen when he invaded Crimea. Do that was to like, that was to secure the two trillion time tons of start. gas. Like here we are, like in the state of our entire world, where like our environment is shutting down. We have this pandemic, and Putin's like, "Yes, now is the time to fuck with you." Like, <laughs> like, what? like, there's so many other things, useful things that could be like getting done to advance our world as a whole, and he's just like. No one really really it, believes in this like world as a whole thing. Like no, no he's I think comes that down the to money and power needs to really be looked at. And I, yeah, I know. It, but I you, know do you know that the poorest countries in the world depend on oil and gas jobs? Like <laughs> poor people in those countries, the renewable industry is not, not really prevalent. So if you I'm were not to say saying that they aren't, so uh, that's a the poorest. So the renewables require cobalt for lithium ion batteries for example for like uh tesla cars those are mined by child laborers and then in most countries that that have uh, third world jobs involve like uh, precursors to oil and gas pipeline and um blah blah the, those jobs are um uh, like coal mining or whatever and they're uh they're, they're child laborers again or like poor people and they depend on those jobs so our our converging uh, or our, our transition and the convergence towards 
like a utopian I like like place where oil and gas still exist to some degree, but like a significant portion less. And we have now like gone seventy thirty the other way. We're now in renewables and thirty percent of oil and gas for the sake of like yeah just like certain certain businesses that require like Mm -hmm. i just don't see it like it's just not going to happen anytime soon and putin really his job is to protect russia i don't blame what he's doing no i think everybody's like all of them the whole everybody their job should just be like how to ensure that our planet is going to be a livable thing and Tell that to BP and Exxon and Texaco. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. This is gibberish. And why is that gibberish? You're talking about, like, number. It, the thing is, it seems like such a boring word because everybody's like, what the fuck? Like, still, we have to deal with power Hold on, hungry. I have to pee. I have to pee. Hold on. Okay. Okay, we're back. Um, No, uh, companies, for example, that run the world or mm-hmm. co- corporations run the world, um, they don't live on the axiom of, you know, the future of the planet. They live on profit and, yeah, and, and cash flow. They care about public mean, opinion, but it's well, only and so that, much. Like now that everybody's aware that like our, like our fucking planet is like dying dead. It, that is it? It's not going to last too much longer. I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> it, okay. Well, like, like, up, I like, don't know what we, what, if that's true. I don't know that Glacier we're the reason that it's happening necessarily. I think that's not been proven. It's mm. not quantifiable. You couldn't tell me how much human beings, you don't have the number. If you did the research, you wouldn't be able to have the number either that we've contributed. I do think that there's this really, I don't know if you've heard of this, but there's this theory of like that the earth recycles itself every, like, yeah. that's an interesting one to me. However, I do think that now, like in the time that we live in, Yes, we're we're doing tons of harm. Maybe not like carbon levels in the atmosphere in the seventies were higher than they are today. How does that make any sense since the industrial revolution started in eighteen ninety five? Why would that be? Stuff like that. Well, weird. look at the automobiles that were being made. Like now, you have. That's what I'm saying. It's in eight in nineteen seventies, yeah. less automobiles, less people. The carbon in the atmosphere. Yeah, but the is automobiles higher. that were around were t- fucking awful. They like exhaust like. It, you have to think of the quality of the automobile. Actually, I was just talking about this with Debbie. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, I think we should name drop on here. But one of my very good friends is an environmental lawyer and sends me articles about how to properly recycle. And uh, <laughs> I mean, I can say these things all day long, but like, God, the fucking rules of it. Yeah, but. Speaking I of think which, how many how many masks I got I saw a mask in the creek the other day. I let with the dog. I got went back to the creek, got yeah. wet, and picked up the mask out of the water. Wow. Because I care. You hear? And, and but like at the same time, like the masks, like the the progressives, like there should have been like a plan to get rid of those. They're all over the place. It's yeah. just how many how many birds are like choking on masks, but go ahead. Yeah. Well that it yeah. It's catch everything has a has a, a cause and effect. Everything know? does, but at the the point <laughs> The point where we're at now and that we've been at is that we're not like the future generations aren't going to have a place to live unless they quickly come up with like another planet to live on and this and that. But like th- we've just th- it's done here. It's it's it completely who? done. We actually are underpopulated. Population is actually we need more people on this planet, not less. Are you kidding? No, you can look no at the we're s- not. You can look at the studies. Elon Musk posted we're- them like six months ago and like the links to you them. You trust that? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, like they're, they're, they're governmental studies. They're not for, like he didn't study them. They're, they're, they're mm, evident. Like the population I'm, centers in terms of GDP per capita and space. That's not what I've, I've heard that we're way overpopulated. Yeah, that's, here. that's a ruse. That's not accurate. That's, why that's, why that's is accurate. it a ruse? Well, they're looking at growth rates in terms of population, saying that it's not sustainable in terms of our, our, li- our living situation. But the fact of the matter is that per s- uh, in terms of surface area, um, there's there's a there's a massive underpopulation of GDP producing people on this planet. There's there's over there's more consumers than mm-hmm. there should be that don't actually contribute. But there is a um, there's an overwhelming like curvature difference in terms of like contribution to GDP. See, um, I still think, uh, going back to, uh, I didn't know that. That's interesting. I didn't know it either until I looked into it. I, I don't um, like listen. To, I'm not like someone who listens to Joe Rogan and says, oh, that must be true. I, I, I 
take mm -hmm. ideas I hear about and I do my own research. I'm sure you do. And I, I, do, I do think you need to research a bit more about the state of the environment right now. But I, the problem is, but if what you're saying is true, that the Earth goes through the cycle, we can do something by curbing carbon emissions and stuff, right? China has far, the, the worst carbon emissions in the world, but like yeah. the French, the Paris Accord, basically didn't penalize them at all. They penalized us and made us come up with all these like levels. It's not fair. These, like, the, uh, Trump was uh, ridiculed and saying, hey, we should pull out of the Paris Accord. It's bullshit. It penalizes American companies more than anyone else. It did. Yeah, it makes you wonder, like the, the hypocrisy and, and 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 ridiculousness of all this stuff. Um, but how, what what really can we do? We'd have to. I've heard studies of in order to actually significantly sh slow things down in terms of carbon emission rates, given the production of uh, of uh, like growth in terms of corporate corporate growth, and and not destroying. Um, value completely to where companies mm -hmm. build bankrupt or, or cannot uh, actually compete. You, there, there's like it would be like a thirty percent reduction or something to be significant to where we mm -hmm. we'd start to slow things down at a reasonable rate. But the reality is, it's just not possible. We're yeah, By like twenty fifty or twenty thirty. There's we don't have the technology to slow things down to where it actually is would significant make an as impact. of right now. Yeah, and our 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 electric cars are not doing a good job in terms of being a renewable counter to the combustible engine because of coal and how they're produced yeah so you know the reality is uh corporations care about were, money well and, my whole point was you know. like it just <laughs> seems like you know we can never just all focus and maybe I don't I don't believe that it's too idealistic or utopian or whatever to feel to feel really pissed off as a population at people in power who are like, well, it, it, like unless it's a played out distraction because they don't know, want you to know how severe like so, uh, how much more severe the environmental thing has gotten or, you know, like there are distractions and things that are set up. But I do think that it's just like like i'm fucking over it i'm really over um i don't know really over people in power not focusing on the right things like well the reason why they're in power is because don't say gay bill the reason why they're Putin. in power is because of special interest groups so the people that put them in power are corporations that care about their bottom line mm -hmm. some of the things that have come up in terms of the public uh discourse are fake terms like esg environmental safety governance or uh, the the middle one security so social government there's different variations of the of the acronym um but or the initialism excuse me but um these are fake like these companies don't give a fuck like mm -hmm. these are fake score the fact that bp british petroleum has an esg score is a joke like the, the fact yeah. that an oil driller or shell company has an esg score that even is even applicable it's just so fake and like they have their own regulatory commission that involves uh, a hypocrisy called regulatory capture where people within the industry are the regulators that used to work for the very companies they regulate so there's a conflict of interest and they decide oh look you're you're a good one you're one of the good guys says who like <laughs> it just doesn't make it doesn't make any yeah. sense it's about cash flow cash flow cash flow that's all that matters yeah and there isn't a universal you're governing so body in the world that's talk like, about sometimes like no but like there's no the, the world like we care yeah. about our own ends in the united states russia cares about their own ends in their state the european union which is a bit basically a fucking joke which has destroyed the ability of like an american teacher with a pension of seven hundred thousand dollars to move to italy and retire there because they've inflated their their standard of living to where the middle class has been decimated because of the european union because of the euro these are all like realities open society programs this whole like like global b initiative it's all bullshit it's very mm -hmm. disturbing um and it's, it's destroying the middle class and creating a, a, a giant subjugation of people towards like their governmental bodies and being like uh, on yeah. subsidies yeah. let's switch to hope solo who was arrested <laughs> speaking of corporations in winston you salem say Han solo. yeah well, Han I, solo I, was arrested he'll by come rescue <laughs> us <laughs> That I, is the worst. Dude, I can't. <laughs> you 
can't. Do you, gotta, you gotta roll the tongue like a like a like like a Hispanic person. <laughs> 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 Put your tongue up by the back of your throat and you go. <laughs> that freaked out Bobby. My dog's like, what the fuck? Hope Solo was arrested in Winston-Salem, smoking her cigarettes f- while driving impaired and resisting arrest. She was also charged with child abuse for having two kids in the car while she was driving drunk. Folks. Who is Hope Solo again? Well, Hope Solo is the former goalie for the U.S. women's soccer team. Mm-hmm. This is what happens when you don't go woke enough. You critique your U.S. women's soccer teammate Megan Rapinoe for bullying players and taking a knee during the national anthem. And then the Bilderberg group spikes your soy latte with fentanyl and you get a DUI and your kids are remanded to the custody of child's family services. That's what happened here. I don't think that she actually was driving drunk with kids. I think the powers that be, the group that you're talking about, the globalist groups that believe in like pushing like global health and global poverty and and global environmental state like you know cure the world from like the cancer of, of Whoa, pollution how did we get on this again th- hope solo has been like a critique a critic of uh like this progressive bullshit she's been very conservative she's been yeah. a face of like she's a woman on a woman's soccer team as a famous goalie who's been gone the opposite way she's critiqued her liberal teammates like megan rapinoe who's now on the board of uh, Victoria's Secret and stuff like that. Progressive, pink-haired lesbian w- woman, or who knows? Maybe she's trying. I don't know. She's something. And uh, for she pushed. She was Megan Rapinoe bullied players for not taking a knee. And mm-hmm. and Hope Solo said that's ridiculous. People should do what they want. May- Hope Solo has done other things. Said other things are more like libertarian or like imp- like kind of like a progressive. Not necessarily like this. Like yeah, she's been outspoken. And then all of a sudden, she's you know drinks a little bit with her kids in the car, and she gets a a DUI for driving drunk. I think she was poisoned. I think it was set up, and uh, the Bilderberg mm-hmm. people wanted her out of the way because she's she's too good looking. And when you, you're you're good, you're you're an attractive woman who's conservative in the media. Wait for Caitlyn Jenner for that like car crash thing. Caitlyn Jenner was trainless. I think he was Bruce at the time. I hope that's not you know illegal to say. And I, I'm not arrested for it from people mm-hmm. in black for calling a trans person by their former name. I think Caitlin, of all people, will forgive me. Bruce Jenner slammed his car into a family and like killed someone shortly mm-hmm. before transitioning. And I wonder if you tra- if you kill if you murder someone and then you transition, can you, is that how you get off? Because you're not you're not really the person yeah. that murdered them. <laughs> you're like someone new. <laughs> you better pull the tranny card. Yeah, you're like you're like oh that was Bruce. I'm Caitlin. Mm. That's we're different people. <laughs> <laughs> What if that was a traumatic response? No, but Caitlin, that's what I'm saying. Like, I would not be surprised if can... all of a sudden Caitlin now has a show on, on Fox. So she's now going to be a contributor on Fox. So I'm wondering, is Caitlin going to be like, are the, is the family all of a sudden going to have all these lawyers from that and sue Caitlin? And like something that Bruce did in the past is now because you're trans and you're conservative, that's a threat to the to the to the globalist people to yeah. the to the progressive movement of like hey you know your identity is all that matters and not what you do and which actually ends up s- destroying identity in of itself because you just basically you're subservient to government which is designed to protect the minority interests and you start like uh you know i don't believe in free speech i just believe in my pronouns you can take away all my rights as long as my pronouns are like this this yeah. transfer of power to the government to say oh we'll, we'll legislate that and make sure it's illegal and you start to give up all these other freedoms for the sake of like, you know, progressive ideology. It's a very, it's a subtle surreptitious move, but I would not be surprised if Caitlyn Jenner is now like hit by a car or blown up or one of her tits gives her cancer or something like that. I don't know. Like I would not be surprised if like, <laughs> like a sabotage, no, like a sabotage tit. plastic. Yeah. Surgeon. It has like, you find out like there's like a, tr- there's like, there's a little, little, little piece of a wall from Chernobyl and one of her silicone implants. <laughs> and you, you find it out later. It's like, I had that get there. It's like, that's what they wanted all along. Cause they knew you were conservative because uh-huh. like the shit used to say like after the Wheaties, box came out when you won the olympics back when you used to have balls you know whatever it was like they just knew that there was a threat to the whole like all black people and and trans people are on the same team like that like, it's the whole idea like muslims trans and black people think exactly the same and they're all they all love hillary clinton like that's like it's just this crazy like th- way of thinking it's just nuts it's just very ugh, it's like uh, it's very is this how caitlin jenner feels or no she do does she doesn't so she's trans and conservative which is yeah. a threat to trans people in terms yeah. of the trans movement yeah. like in other words it's a, th- it's a threat to 
if the trans movement is in any way manipulated by powerful people for the sake of progressive world domination and globalization, mm -hmm. maybe even the culling of young people in terms of just like taking powerful, talented men and destroying their ability to compete against the elites that currently exist by converting them into estrogen, you know, soy boys. Essentially, she is a threat to that end. In, in some ways she still fucks girls so she's more of like an autogenophiliac or autogenophile i think is the correct term where she's not she kind of like is she gets off on the idea of transitioning but she's really not yeah like she isn't th th long story there's a very a guy named blanchard from northwestern talked about this but like, i think that there are people like her that have a higher chance of getting hit by cars or like slipping on the sidewalk and breaking their like neck and you're gonna wonder why like because she is she's a threat to the system and she's a caricature because it's like mm -hmm. there's she's one of the trans people where saying that she's mm -hmm. mentally ill is not offensive because that's a way of destroying her platform like bruce yeah. is mentally ill she was bruce is jealous of his daughters and then became a woman that's crazy like See, no, i think mom had a lot of like Alpha. I hope yeah. solo when you go to it's crazy how it jumps it's like ADD is just, it's, yeah. it's a marvelous <laughs> drug you know well I I also I think that um what's the mom's name what's the Kardashian how much time have we done by the way I just want to pr protect okay all right all right all right go ahead um so, like, I thought it was like two hours of like Jesus Christ you're what is this? derailing is this me is this with the like Joe Rogan every podcast? god <laughs> go snort I do the show every day I could do the show every day I really could I really could I know um no but what's uh, what's the mom's name on the show the on the show oh you mean the kardashian you mean the kardashians yeah what's her name i always Mi forget like the, pa the the patriarch or the matriarch yeah. uh chloe kim karen kombucha uh <gasps> clavicle clavicle <laughs> uh, clavicle kardashian i don't know what her name is i know which i always forget Does it matter? too no, but I w what I was going to say is I have this theory about <laughs> that some men end up getting with like Chris Jenner. Chris, yeah. Yeah. So they end up getting with these powerful like alpha females. Yeah. And, but it's like a graduation of things. Like I I feel like certain men just suddenly like that's like the last stage of it, and then they're like, okay, well I'm. Like I'm done with this. I'm gonna like either become trans or like go for trans. I think. They I'm just sorry get that, that she's literally the women. only person that's done this. This is not. A, this is not <coughs> common. What are you talking about? She's one of. She's one of the only people that's done what. What are you? Like, what, what are you saying? You're, you're making a generality. <laughs> what about, are you like, like Kay, Caitlyn Jenner is like a one-off. There's no like other people like her. I don't think that's the one. I think I've heard stories where people have left their families like guys and i typically Who? like I, I, are they famous well through no through a friend of mine she had a f she had well, this a, is an anecdotal? a husband in in the area in texas it was a friend of a friend and this is a friend you've met and we've had dinner with one night but she ended up saying um that there was her friend's husband who was a firefighter like they had kids and told her that he was gonna like come out as trans and she's like it's just so bizarre because he's like this big buff firefighting dude and i'm like i was wondering in my mind like what the wife is like because that's always intriguing but to caitlin me. was bruce was cucked by success like her his daughters are more successful well, that than him. too i think that subconsciously and i also think his wife i think they they so, were so way his, better his person you're talking about if you ever more, more have successful. you ever have you ever seen the show well, what I'm asking, first of all, is <laughs> it, it, just so we're wait, on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. It's important. What? Because it, it's, it's, I want to make sure. Is the firefighter's wife really successful? And is his daughter's really successful? From, from Are they women? Are, do you have all daughters? Yeah. And I think guys who get like exhausted from fe their females in their life suddenly like, are I, like, I've I don't had think enough. That that's I think it like dries up. Uh, some some men. I'm not saying all. That would be, it, but I'm saying. Isn't there like, like a show? It's interesting to me to to hear that. You're saying part that Mr. Brady would be trans from the Brady Bunch. He just like God is exhausting having all these daughters. Wasn't he? Like, that's what you're that saying. That actor was was gay though, wasn't he? The that, dad. I don't think that that's not the same. 
No. <laughs> That's not no, the I'm same. saying his wife as well. I'm I'm talking about like his wife, not his daughters. I'm saying like it's like Chris Jenner is not the successful one. She is the controller uh, of all this. Kim became yeah, rich I think before Chris she is did. Very like like stage money. Chris best thing is is marrying a rich guy that have to have the money to then set things up I think she's more business Kim was minded. Hilton's assistant. That's how that started. Yeah, and who do you think Brad Kim was it like I think mom Brad Kim and then like it was No, a tag it's fine, team. but the money came from her daughter. She would never have been a billionaire without have, her daughters. Have you watched the show though? Yeah, I've probably like viewed it at one point. Uh, okay, so I've seen it a few times just to like see what the hell was going on with it, not like not a fan. It seems like Bruce but is he, cocked the entire time, and yeah, Chris, and totally Chris is domin- domineering. Yeah, and wants to be like she's like doesn't consider herself a mom. She's like one of the daughters. Yeah, and yet uh, all the daughters kind of play off like this is creepy, mildly. Like like Kim was like okay, mom, but not in, like an awful way. Like uh, it's yeah. mom, and that's all the, the show. daughters mainly act like like it's weird to me because if. <laughs> If the Kardashian girls, like, they all act like trans men. Their attitudes are very, like, especially Kim Kardashian to me. Like, if if you were to tell if she wasn't famous and she, I don't know, she acts very, like, they act very, like, uh I, I, I think you're wrong that, that men in general with, with daughters that are successful become trans. I think that's I didn't, a crazy I, again, thing. Again, you're saying that it's the daughters. I think it's the mom. Okay, I so I don't think that guys that get cucked by their wives become trans, and that's a common thing. And you know why it's not common? Because there's not enough trans people to make it common. I didn't say it was common. I said from what I have heard. Right, from an from anecdotal story from seen. one person that's like. Well, a, and I have a, a friend who is an old bandmate who now likes, who I swear. He, so he now likes trans, like it's specifically trans only, like not coming yeah, back. These are very specific anecdotal stories from one uh, person. Yeah, but they're m- personal. Like right, I, I, I know, I but like it's so, ra- it's very rare. And, and in general, it's just <laughs> not. It, how many people have you even met? Who no, no, like, th- it's just the statistics of people that are trans. Like th- this is this is very anecdotal. Yeah, but this is a personal. I, 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 I get what you're saying. I, 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 I acknowledge my own personal Right, but you have to extrapolate the general statistics of these are my anecdotes anecdotes and they're not in line with general demographics i just think it's interesting i'm not saying that it's right i don't think that trans people i don't think that men are being cucked by their wives so badly in an epidemic in this country to where they're transitioning Mm. because it's like if you can't beat them join them i don't think that's happening at a large scale but you can go ahead with your statistical background and say i think it is based on your anecdotes your two stories that you have and say, I think it's an epidemic now because I, I know two people. No, now, should, I'm never that hard. That. Ro- I'm never that hard rooted in like a lot of things. I think it's interesting that it, like out of the three personal stories that I know, it's that seems it to is be. interesting. But based on your math skills, three X plus five equals 18. I think that we have to refer to general heuristics, which is probability theory off like the top of your head and say that's probably not indicative of the general populace. It's interesting. And I'm not claiming and I don't anything think that more Bruce than it's like, is actually hmm. trans because of his uh, his his wife. I think that they have had an asexual relationship for some time. I think he found he found completely cocked by his daughters who were like see i think that's Ferraris. just your personal you keep bringing up the daughters and then i do not think so i don't think that bruce would have become trans if it weren't for his maybe daughters a, maybe kim maybe kim had something to do with her mom i think that I if, if every others. single one of his daughters has eclipsed him in life and that they're super famous and have all this attention and he's like this aging like wheaties box man from like the 1968 olympics i think it's like there's some psychological thing that was already wrong with him and it's yeah. like gotten worse. And I think well, if it was just Chris and it's like Chris is like owns a store on uh, Rodeo Drive and he's jealous of her, I don't think he would have transitioned. What was weird to me was that like And those how people they... that he killed in the car crash would be alive today. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he well, probably was on he probably was on like hormone pills, like transitioning and he was like tired and he hit those hit that family and killed them. What was bizarre to me it was that like even on the show, like the way that they all treated him was like a dog that they didn't want to deal with. I've like, heard that. It's, like, it's just so, it's embarrassing. Like now, like you look at that show and I remember I, I like rewatched something after like he, cause I was like, man, 
was there like a tell on the show and then I was like oh yeah the the entire thing is like not they treat him like absolute like and it, it makes perfect sense how do I beat these people I beat them at their own game I get plastic surgery like all of my daughters and look like them and then I win that was the game it's a it's a great I don't know, I haven't looked up what the psychological I don't think there is this is so it's so specific to like jealousy and a sense of abandonment and a lack of like maybe like borderline type stuff but like like i'm going to be i'm used to being successful and the most famous person and literally it's like michael jordan having kids and every single one of them's better at basketball than him that's what it's like yeah and it's like crazy the odds of it are so it's such a uh, like going against your anecdotal stories of probability in terms of this being an <laughs> epidemic I it's such not. a small <laughs> ratio of be, people that could actually usurp their parents one by one there's not one fuck up on that family except for rob but rob's rich even they figured out a way for him to make money so like you know it, yeah. it, it's well, the mo- i think that the rob the actually fact- be a good looking guy if he could lose 200 pounds he can't keep it off <laughs> I think that the fact that uh, like the mom definitely like encouraged that kind of treatment for like him. Even Rob was like a little bit like like the men in that family did not get treated <laughs> very well. And the mom was like they were taught that. It would have been cool if they found out later that like like uh uh what uh, Bruce had like five dead fetuses in his bedroom and he would like <laughs> do puppet shows with them and like that was what happened and then he was arrested for like stealing dead baby body parts from like dumpsters and like yeah. having like tea parties and that's how they knew he was a woman and wanted to transition mm-hmm. like Lauren Lauren Handy DC police found five fetuses mm-hmm. anti-abortion activists she said she wanted to turn them into NFTs that would have been funny if Bruce said I want to turn the baby the dead baby fetuses from the the um, dumpsters of abortion clinics into NFTs after I'm done having tea parties and like pretending they're my friends, and then if that didn't those work, are his daughters that treat him better, right? Like uh, yeah, they <laughs> they idolize him. They they talk about his his Olympic feats every day to him. He like makes their mouths move and shit. He put, like and then and then like he he says if like that didn't work out in terms of like doing a reality show about his dead fetuses, and then he, in like, a weird twist, he gives birth to them. After no, <laughs> like he, he he'll like he'll turn them into like put formaldehyde in them and 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 and, and preserve them and take them to Art Basel and like say look what I did. I'm just as oh, talented my as my God. daughters. And then, like, he didn't have to go into, like, you know, tits and ass implants for himself. Which, it's, it, the most bizarre thing about Bruce Jenner, in general, is that he decided to become one of his daughters. Like, there, like the guy that dated one of the Kardashians, Chloe, who, mm-hmm. what's his name, Scott D- D- Disick, his new girlfriend, I talked about this, like, a year ago on my podcast, looks like a Kardashian. It's it's really? a, it's almost like none of the men can escape those women. They cannot escape that yeah. family. Well, you either you either become one of them or you date one of them that looks like like a clone. It, it's like and it's a weird Persian African American Russian blend. It's not even like there's no real there's no real person that looks like a Kardashian that without they, surgery. Are they Persian? Is that... It's like a Persian like Armenian Armenian sorry yeah. Armenian. Like 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 big ass giant tits like like Russian like, like Eastern European effect. It's like it's a it's there's no actual person that their plastic surgeon is like oh that's the real version of this. I'm gonna it's like a doll or something. It's not real. It's weird. Yeah. And uh, I, it, 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 it's I, I just the fact that like people ignore the mental illness that is embedded in some of these things like. Like right. it, it, it's it's like, you know, it's a travesty. Not everything is just better because someone decided to do something with their body in a sexual way. Yeah. Like if well, I, it's just not, you know. And then Bruce Jenner is not a hero, and Caitlyn Jenner is not a talking point. Would not be a bro. She's an idiot who like did like track and field 30 years ago or whatever yeah. like th- th- there these people are not to be idolized i think Blech. yeah i just like y- of course you know i mean they're not they're not heroes they're not like it 
I think for me to like personally try and like investigate and see if there's like a common link or like a common thread that that's interesting but I think anything like sexual and I mean it seems like very like any sexual sort of um I, I'm not really sure what to call it but it Th- seems like it's so much more perversion. like perversion yeah if, well okay <laughs> I mean, it, how? What, what else are you going to call it if you actually get surgery to look like one of your daughters? Forget, forget calling it trans. Well, okay, well, I'm not jumping back there I'm again. Like though I'm, his, he had sons and they look like Brad Pitt. What and I, all of a sudden he has a jaw that just like pops out. Like he, is, mm-hmm. he goes, it's like, uh, what is wrong with you, dude? So what I was what I was going to say is that anything sexual is very hard to like. It's it's not like a normal like mental illness or, you know, like disease. It's it's not normal. Any like anything under the umbrella of sexuality seems to be so much more complex and harder to like crack because sexuality is just uh, very. Well, in Bruce's case, it's not sexual. He fucks girls still. Apparently, I don't know who he's yeah. fucking, but like he's his sexuality hasn't changed his sexual expression, his gender expression has mm-hmm. to mimic the most successful group of cunts that the United States has ever produced. Yeah, they really <laughs> They're <laughs> so <laughs> successful. Like yeah. they they like they make they make they make Paris Hilton look like a homeless person. Like they, they took what Paris Hilton did and then like a hundred X. Yeah. Like being famous for being famous. They they it's <sighs> just you know I we, remember, like, being around, like, girls, like, old coworkers who would talk about, like, yeah, keeping up with the Kardashians. And I was like, this is, is – which has also piqued my interest. I'm like, well, I'll watch, like, an episode. And I was like, these are, like, the worst people <laughs> who are idolized and, like, followed. Like, well, I, like, I, I know people that think, like – like if you talk about like rich people or something like that, they're thinking of like Jay Z or something. That's the first person that comes to their mind. And then you mm-hmm. talk about like, well, the guy who created like Minecraft, he 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 rented his house to Jay Z, and Jay Z wanted to buy it with like 128 million dollars in, in in L.A. Mm-hmm. or something. And he was like, uh, couldn't afford it. Like, oh. like the the people with the most money yeah. are not these. These people are pawns of a system. And like sometimes they do gain market share on their own, and then the system allows them and supports them to grow. And By the way, can the you believe are. how much? Like I only just learned this past year how much the Minecraft couple made because they're a couple billions. It was just, and have you seen that game? I'm like, are you fucking? Well, there's 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 a lot of in, it was in, 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 oh like a lot God. of independent video games that are very occult followings. All it takes is like. I, people that work on independent video games there was a documentary on netflix years ago of if yeah. uh, these guys were making no money and working on these like simplistic games for mm-hmm. the sake of hoping that like like they would be like gain like a cult following and they did and eventually it paid off and they got millions of dollars and bought it like a, you know they got mm-hmm. each shot like 10 million bucks but their games are like stick figure basic shit it it can happen to you, you know, grind yeah. it out. Who knows? You know, your daughters are, you know, getting ass injections and making billions of dollars from it. So can you don't let your sex or your general disposition or your politics stop you from being successful in this life. Mm-hmm. Do what you do as you will. Don't, yeah. you know, fuck mental illness. Everyone's mentally ill. It doesn't matter. There's nothing wrong. Don't take your Xanax. You're anxious because your body's telling you that you need to do something else. That's what it is. You know, don't become a cuck to the sake of the system. And the nine to five thing that might be upsetting you or your daughters being rich and famous, you can too. Fuck it. I, I might not have been born a woman, but I'm going to become a rich Persian woman with giant tits and ass and mm-hmm. lip injections. And I'm going to start fucking black guys. If that's yeah. what you need to do, do it. Or you if know? I'm Ben Ben, I'm going to clickety clack with my pirate slippers on. <laughs> Whatever it is. Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna do me. I just do your shit. This whole, like, do, no one, don't let anyone stop you. Like the mental patient I met with Dayclair and Bolt syndrome, who was convinced that her all her doctors were in love with her. Don't let anything get in your way. Um, you know, one time I was in a mental health facility for reasons I will not explain or go into, and I, this woman was so dead fast and falling in love that every adult male that was older than her 
that came into her life she fell in love with. If that was her want, that was her want. How are you going to get rid of that? That's not mental illness. There's nothing you can do to invert that. That's mm-hmm. that's like ingrained from like childhood. And she said in such a calm way, it's like, oh, you know what? This, yeah, my, do- my doctor, ah, just, he's in love with me. It's crazy. Yeah, it's, yeah, of course. Why wouldn't he be? So anyway, how are you? I want to go have lunch. It's just very, so, so normal in every way. Don't let anything in life stop you. Anything in life. Mm-hmm. Because everyone's crazy and you just have to find a way to get through it. And more than that, don't just get through it. Go for it. Embrace your crazy and just do mm-hmm. it. Joy de vie. Joy de vie. Yeah. So it's one thirty, one minute, hour and Ooh. thirty-four minutes. I, it's a long fucking show. Um, to call it today. Uh, mwah, my 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 wheat thins, my crackers, and my 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 fig newtons. However you want to refer to yourself. Go deplorables. I'll talk to you next week. The store will be up mm-hmm. soon. Uh, mm-hmm. Have a great weekend. Stay fabulous. <laughs>